there was a real fear that if you let blacks get control, um, everything would change. And there was no, uh, with some people, there was no idea that there would be any fairness or any democracy or anything, uh, you know, that, that there would be a decent, uh, well-run city government, county government, whatever. It was like, if this happens, we're lost. And it was just a terrible fear. Southerners are like any other group of people. I mean, there are all kinds of folks that are included. And regardless of where they stood on integration or anything else, uh, there were a lot of really good people who made wrong decisions and not so much did wrong things as failed to do right things. And when you look back on it, try to sort it out and figure out what could have been different. I think one of the things is that People felt a sense of being powerless. Uh, maybe people who would have been willing to go along and go further and move move forward sooner uh, wouldn't have had any notion of any way that they could impact this, or that anything that they could personally do that would be helpful. You know, even as now, most of us live in a society that we think is far from perfect, and yet between now and two weeks from now, we're probably not going to do very much to change it, partly because we have no sense of what we could do. And, and in the South, it was that way. Even people who were willing to take risk and move out were just uh, not able to visualize what, what kinds of things could, could help. Or, you know, how would you get enough people, if everybody that was willing to go to a certain step, would move at once, then it would be accomplished. But we were all scattered out there. Nobody knew who else was willing to do what or make what changes. And there was not a lot of leadership. And leadership in the churches was, um, a lot of it was really forward-thinking and helpful, and then a lot of it was people who knew what the right thing to do was but were terrified of taking any stand that would upset the congregation. Uh, there were people in the churches who wanted to uh, keep the peace in the, ch in the local church, you know, in the congregation, and so they didn't want to do anything that might uh, cause any kind of dissension. Uh, politicians, even people who knew better who would have been willing to go further personally or to have the state move forward were always bound by fear of not getting reelected. And so really people who knew better just stuck with racism for political reasons is what I think, you know, it was, but a lot of it just in average citizens was just that people didn't know what to do. They didn't know how to help. There were, there still are, a lot of strange myths floating around in the South. There were a lot of strange tales from Reconstruction. There were, a, a, there's an awful lot of fiction that, uh, that floats about and so I have no idea what kind of weird uh, notions people had, but, but mostly I think it is of uh, losing control. You know, I mean, there was some higher level of trust, even of dishonest or corrupt white politicians, than of a black in some position of authority over you for people who had grown up with these uh, myths and fears, so that it was easier to stick with somebody that you might not have even cared for who was white. I know that there were people who actually became physically ill every time there was any big desegregation news. I mean, you could just count on it. if you went to their house, you knew they were going to be in bed. Um, it really just was, this was after I was a grown woman, and it, it was pretty startling to me to discover that there were people that had that kind of, that were bound in that way to racism. But, uh, of course, there are people who are a lot worse that I didn't happen to know personally. Um, 
for me, it's it's there's a lot of guilt that's involved um, because growing up, if you grow up and accept things the way they are, then you have to wonder, you know, why why did you accept all of this? Why did you not question more, or you know, wh why didn't you think about all these things that were happening? And I don't know what the answer to that is. My um, great grandfather was a really good man, but he was really a racist also. He, I guess, was influenced a lot by things that happened during Reconstruction. And he was not, uh, and he was never a violent person, nor was he, uh, it, it wasn't something that he spent a lot of time thinking about or talking about, but his views were, I remember mainly uh, his never quite forgiving the Methodist Church for reuniting. You know, there was a Southern Methodist Church for a while, and he didn't think they should have gone back in with the Northern Methodist Church. There were a lot of really good people who were and are racist, and I don't know how you explain or justify, or a lot of people wouldn't even accept the fact that you can be both, but in my belief, you can. For instance, there were a lot of people who were willing to accept um, when Emmett Till was murdered, there were people who were willing to accept the fact that that this was, I don't remember if they said it was a prank or what, but I mean there were stories that this was, that this didn't really happen before they found the body. And there were people who were willing to accept that. There were the same kind of attitude was, um, with almost everything where there was not an immediate finding of a body, there was always this thing, this is something somebody's made up, you know, just um, a lot of denial, a lot of people who didn't want to believe that this sort of thing would happen and, and would refuse to accept the fact that it, that it was happening. I think there were a lot of people who, who did think it would be stopped, who never thought the change would actually happen, even after it was happening. Um, and I think if there had been, if it, if there had not been that attitude, if people had known the change was going to happen anyhow, maybe it would have been faster. Maybe the, the holding the line would not have been so long and painful. But I think that part of the reason that there was not more change. It's just that people never did accept it as the reality of the day.